Tapi kita nyoba bayan banana. It's almost matured. So hello guys, hello everyone. I'm here in Kerala. So continue my uh, vlog for uh, here in this village, Nelipara village. So I'm still here in my parents-in-law house right so i'm here behind behind the house so that banana is almost matured and will be eaten soon all right okay so stay tuned guys have some cup of coffee well we'll, we continue our tour here in the village Friends and subscribers, thank you very much for your unending support. I appreciate it very much. And if you are new to this channel, you are very much welcome. If you like this channel, please don't hesitate to connect by simply clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell button so that you will be updated on our new video uploads. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you will enjoy this video. A simple life here in Elipara village. Kanar District, Kerala, India. Stay tuned. Guys, our jackfruit here. Look at that. See the jackfruits, and this is the neighbor's house. The jackfruits. You see, there's a lot of fruits on top. I can't see. I can't show you much because I have to go downstairs and show it to you. But there's a lot of fruits in it, right? Cashew nuts. So this time the fruits of the cashew nuts is already lesser because we ha they have harvested it earlier. Earlier this week they have harvested the cashew but still some of it are remaining waiting for them to be matured right so over here there are a few trees of cashew nuts and we they used to make it for side dish side dishes so this is it and some of it are already dropped on the ground so later on i'm gonna pick them up Look at that. This is very big. Cashew nut. Kasui. This is kasui, guys. Alright. And some of it already dropped on the ground. So I'm gonna pick them up. Alright, so let's start picking cashew nuts. So, umpisa na natin ang mamulot ng mga cashew nuts, mga higala. Kay paborito, magigayin ako ni nga uh, cashew nuts. Pag magluto nga akong ugangan, ni ani nga putahi. Paborito, ginamong duha ko akong banana. Unang magkugigig ko ang pamulot. Kay para pag wala na siya maluto, na na po siya taing mag-prepare. Kay nagkugigig ko din tawon ko pamulot. Or deep bar. Mm. 
it's under the leaves. Let you see properly. All under the leaves. This is the cashew nut side dish made by my mother-in-law. It's very delicious and very healthy. Hello guys, so okay here we continue our vlog since yesterday uh, when I was taking photos or videos all of a sudden rain has come and now we continue our vlog so over here we have they have all these uh, yam see how big the yam is there's a lot they planted actually this area is quite big so they planted here and there of the yam and I'll show you later the harvested yam so this is it Yum. 40 rupees per kilo. Who wants to buy? <laughs> so inside this little pot here is the seedlings they have prepared and uh, I think it is a flowery plant which is dahlia and they also have chili and uh, tomato as well as lettuce finger I'm gonna show you something this is the fruits uh, I think it's the first time saying this kind of fruits it's kind of uh, the inside, I have tested it. The inside, uh, it tastes like uh, custard apple. I think they are in the same uh, variety of uh, fruits, custard apple. But uh, it's not the custard apple, but the inside, it's similar taste in it. Right, so this is it here. What's the name of this? Artica. 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 Wow. This is like uh, uh, custard apple. Uh, custard. Same variety with the custard apple. Artica. 
This is tapioca, tapioca or cassava. And for the tapioca, I'm gonna show you the separate video for this on how they prepare the tapioca, how they preserve it for couple of years like two to three years it can be kept that uh, maximum year all right so abangan nyo yan mga higala stay tuned on that it will be a separate video ang ingay ng bird hey guys you see that thing that machinery over there I'm gonna show you the functionality of that uh, but uh, later on in my next vlog maybe okay so now I'm gonna show you what is in this village so many coconut is here it's not uh, it's not being processed yet because uh, there's a lot of them and uh, we need more people to do it This is bay leaves. Bay leaves. I'm gonna bring you to closer one. Okay, so what we are showing here is the Indian bay leaves. And uh, for the skin of these Indian bay leaves, also can be used for cooking. And as well as the leaves, of course, they also use this for wrapping food like kombel apam or jackfruit wrapped. So it, the leaves has its very nice uh, fragrance, the smell, and uh, when you use it for wrapping, it really gives that kind of fragrance into the food. And uh, it smells so good. And uh, the leaves also, you can you can be used it for... Um, uh, as a flavor onto the dish right so this is it indian bay leaves and the other one here is true cinnamon leaves or true cinnamon tree and are used for stews dishes or mix it with curries and uh, dried cinnamon leaves can frequently be substituted for bay leaves in many recipes they can also be used as a flavoring agent for baked goods and desserts all right so i think that's it and uh, for those who know better please comment down below all right guys so this is a uh, true cinnamon leaves and this is the pepper this is pepper so pepper usually it vines on the tree so all the way up this is this tree is a uh, rubber trees I think so it vines up to there on top so this is pepper And that over there, that bushes over there, that is uh, coffee. That is coffee. Coffee plants.
And after a few days of uh, waiting for the flower to bloom, for the coffee flowers to bloom, so this is it now. It is blooming very nice. And I'm gonna show you the close up ones. And it is really smells good. This coffee really smells good. The flower smells very nice. Alright guys, so friends, uh, if you feel like missing your hometown or villages, I think uh, this is the good video for you to watch. So uh, I'm here in my parents-in-law house. Alright, so over here in this property, most of the things that they need at home is everything planted here so they don't need to buy everything is here there's a lot of plants around the area and thank you very much for watching there's a lot more to see and if you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed if you like my channel and like my videos please do subscribe and hit the notification bell button so that you'll be updated on our new video uploads all right so over here in Nilipara it's a very good place nice and fresh and very homely you really feel at home you don't feel bored when you are he when you are here it's very uh, you know that kind of province life it's really good and everything here is organic everything we eat here is organic thank you so much and uh i hope you enjoy watching guys and there's a lot more to see Papaya. This is photos, one of my favorite plant photos. So nice. Color is so lovely. So colorful. And here are the other uh, jackfruit trees, which is on the upper side of the property. The earlier ones that I have shown it to you, which which is in the roadside. And this is the other one. And this one have a lot of fruits in it, and but they are still young. Alright, so this is it, guys. And they also have here pomelo trees. But uh, this one, I think, is not yet matured. But we are checking on those uh, fruits that is already matured and ready to be picked. Right, so now we are picking some of the matured pom pomelo that is good and rich in vitamin C. This is pomelo. Okay, so what am I showing you here is the areca nut tree. So those are those uh, tall, slim and tall trees are the areca nuts. And I have read it in Google that areca nut is used for treatment of mental disorder called schizophrenia. And it is also a medicine for eye disorder called glaucoma. This act as a mild stimulant, so that is why uh, they use it for chewing. I've seen so many people use it for chewing and also useful as a digestive aid. It gives some pleasure and that is why people used to chew it. Alright, so that is the 
I reckon that uh, medical use for areca nut trees or areca nut fruits. So this is the fruits, which is uh, my father-in-law place it under the sand to let it dry and ready for sale. And that's all for this time. I hope you enjoy the tour. So this is the simple lifestyle and living here in Nilipara village. And I have shown some of the things here in my parents-in-law home. Thank you very much and I hope to see you again.